What is up, future Faith Promise student leader? We're going to be talking about one of the most important things a leader can do for the people they lead. That is communicating down. And I know you just discussed communicating up, and while some of the principles and the results of clear communication are the same, such as everyone being on the same page, communicating down is done differently and has some different results from communicating up. We're gonna look at two major things communicating down will do. Great communication with those you lead builds trust and it adds value. Let's start with the fact that strong communication builds trust. If those we lead don't trust us, then we can't lead them. Think about it. Many times when we're talking to someone and if we don't communicate clearly, they can walk away feeling or thinking differently than what we meant for them to think or feel. So we need to make sure that they not only hear the words we're saying, but they hear the heart behind it. When someone knows our heart, they more easily understand what we're trying to say because they know what we want. I was once told, when you've said something so many times you're sick of it, this is when the team you're leading is just getting it. And I'm not sure if that's always true, but what I do know, what is talked about becomes most important. That means if we only communicate something once, what we're really communicating is it's not very important. If we over communicate with those we lead, they will feel cared for and they will begin to trust us. And when they trust us, the game has been changed. What I love about trust is it builds camaraderie. When we communicate with the team, they learn to trust us. However, communication is more than what we say. It's what we do. Because more is caught than more is taught. We can say what we want leaders to do and even verbally say the right things. But if our actions say something different, it won't work. If we communicate consistently and clearly with both our actions and words, it will build a team that is connected. A truth about trust is that trust builds influence. Leadership is influence. And the more trust we have with our team, the more influence we have with them as well. Clear and consistent communication with those we lead is the best way to gain trust and influence with them. We want to make sure that those we lead are connecting with us and others weekly, communicating expectations, but also giving them an opportunity to communicate what they need or what they have going on personally in their life. The more we not only communicate information, but we communicate that we care for those we lead, the more trust and influence with those we lead we will have. Remember that influence in someone's life is not something we take, but it's something they must give us. And the more they trust us, the more willing they are to give us that influence. Finally, trust builds or breaks a team. Trust comes from time, time being spent with those we lead. This communicates we care. People do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. When people know you care, they'll go to the end of the earth and will trust you with problems they wouldn't normally share. When your team trusts you, you'll have more knowledge of what's going on and that will allow you to lead them more effectively. Communication builds trust but the reason it builds trust is because communication adds value. Our mission as leaders should be to add value to those we lead. If we do not communicate with them, we can't add value to them. As leaders, we need to remember it's about we, not me. As leaders, we need to focus on those we lead and not on ourselves. The best leaders are the best servants. John Maxwell visited Faith Promise and I got the privilege and honor to pick him up at the airport. And no one has produced more than John Maxwell. But the thing that I'll never forget he told me, he said, Micah, I would never produce in spite of others. I would never produce over someone else. He's one of the best leaders, the best author of leadership on the planet. But he said, Micah, I would never produce if it would hurt those around me. When we serve those around us, it communicates that as a team, we focus on others first and we model Christ's leadership. One of the best ways to communicate that you care and to add value as a leader 
is to live out our church value. We grow together. As a church, we grow together. And as leaders, we carry this and develop our teams to live it out. We might be able to go faster alone, but we'll always go further together. This is why we need to make sure we're always communicating to our teams that our communication adds value. A great question to ask yourself is this, are those I'm leading growing because of how I lead and what am I communicating to them? Everything we say and do communicates something. And we want to make sure what we are communicating to those we lead is that we care for them. We desire to serve them and love them. Because when that is the message, it ultimately communicates that we can be trusted. We can be trusted with their lives, their time, and their family. We will add value to them and that we will grow. We're in this together. My name is Micah. I'm so excited you're in this process. Good luck.